Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now. There are two ways God speaks. Two ways. Every attempt of God to communicate with any human being falls into two categories. One is inspiration. The second one is revelation. In inspiration, God wants to show you the present revelation position of the Spirit. And what I mean by this, my big English, is that He wants to show you what knowledge you have consumed before that you need to apply now. Are you there? You are not there. Um, do you realize that when you are under an attack, you don't remember? You are about you are in a, an accident mode. Your plane, that your, the plane, the driver has said uh, we have lost control, and from the cockpit we are saying, "Happy fly to the spirit world." <laughs> <laughs> do you? It will not happen to you. It will not happen to you. It will not happen to you. You don't want to be in that position. Are you there? When you hear that kind of announcement from the cockpit, your brain is suspended. It's only what is on your heart that can speak. So what God does is that it runs a search on what you have stored in your heart. And it brings the one that is applicable to that circumstance at the spur of the moment. Then he's expecting you because he has brought it to you. He's expecting you to take it. And when you take it, don't stop saying it. That one is inspiration. The thing that is coming to you from the Holy Ghost is not entirely new. It's just that you did not know that it was supposed to be used for this situation. So the Holy Spirit goes into the archives of, of, of the data warehouse and he brings out the strategic information for the moment and when he brings it out he will not he will not take it for you you will now take it make it yours put it in your mouth and begin to say it because the holy ghost is saying it so you also you need to say it that's the spirit of faith in the spirit of faith you say what god is saying and as you are saying it it is coming out as if it's your word but it's actually the words of god you are speaking and the words of god go forth with power that's what will release angels to walk and to hold that that plane Are you there? That's inspiration. But in Revelation, God takes you beyond what you know. He takes you into something that you have never known before. It goes beyond your warehouse. Are you there? So when the Bible says, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not, he's talking about revelation. You don't know it. You don't know it, but you need it. You don't know it, but you need to walk with it. It has never occurred into your heart. For the Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and it has not entered into the, the heart of man. That, that, that thing that eyes have not seen, that ears have not heard, that has not occurred in your heart is called a mystery. It's beyond your scope. You don't know it. You say, one of the rewards I give you for coming to me is the reward of divine revelation. I was coming back from work. Coming back from work. I, my time is almost gone. And we have not started today's lecture. I, those days I used to work in Abuja and uh, they had not banned bikes then. So I would take a bus from Buse to Life Camp Junction then from Life Camp Junction I take a bike to my house. My house was in life camp. So this blessed day, I was on a bike going to my house, and then the Holy Ghost now came upon me on the bike. The bike man, I didn't know. I thought it was only me. The Holy Ghost came upon. He came upon both of us. The, the implication was that the bike man didn't know where we we're going. We we're just. Come, <laughs> We were, we were just going. 
Me, I was high in spirit. I was not even conscious of what was happening in the natural. I was, I was downloading. I, do you know it was on a bike I got, I got the calling for this ministry? On a bike. <laughs> the bike man passed my house and went, and with speed, speed. And I realized the Holy Ghost too was, was dealing with him, but he couldn't interpret what was, there was an energy that was on him, but he couldn't interpret it. Uh, when, when, when I now got the first consignment of the download and we got lost, the back man said, oh God. <laughs> then I told him, okay, go like this, go like this. He now dropped me off. I gave him extra money because he, he came under the weight of glory. I entered into the gate, entered into the sitting room and thank God, DSTV was on, Benny Hinn was doing, this is your day. In the moment I got into that place, and I started hearing Benny Hinn talk, that presence that I lost with the bike man, and the thing came back. And I, when it comes like that, I take my diary and my pen. The first thing he says was, raise for me a remnant in this generation. So I asked him, what, what is remnant? Because, are you there? <laughs> Those things you saw on the brocure, that was the day that was downloaded, on the 25th of July, 2005. If you really have an encounter with God, the date will live with you. It will, it will, it will be installed. The bike man went home with more money, but I came home with more revelation. He had answers to his own prayers. I had a reward. Do you understand that? Go for a reward. Tell your neighbor, go for this thing. Tell your neighbor, this thing that we are talking about, there's, there's a reward inside. So he that cometh to God must believe. The earth is the one that must initiate the protocol. The earth must initiate the process. Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now.